we are given an IP address of 172.18.0.0 and a subnet mask of 255.255.0.0 and we are tasked to subnet it into 6 networks. Una, kailangan nating alamin kung ilang bits ang kailangan nating hiramin or nakawin sa host portion natin. Kung isang bit lang ang nanakawin natin, 1 lang yon, At hindi siya kasya sa 6 networks. So let's try to steal 2 bits. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 is not sufficient sa 6 networks. So, kailangan natin, let's try to steal 3 bits. 4 plus 2 is 6. Plus 1 is 7. And 7 is greater than 6. We needed to steal 3 bits para makomply natin yung 6 networks na kailangan. After nating malaman kung ilang bits ang kailangan nating hiramin or nakawin, pwede nating malaman kung ano yung bagong subnet mask na gagamitin natin sa buong network natin. Our new subnet mask is 255.255. We need to steal 3 bits sa third octet natin. So, 128 plus 64 is 192. Plus 32 is 224. So, that 224.0. So, this is our new subnet mask na gagamitin natin sa buong network natin. Now, para malaman natin yung network range natin, kailangan muna nating alamin kung ano yung increment natin. Since we still 3 bits, we need to count 1, 2, 3. Okay? So, nag-stop tayo sa 32. Our increment is 32. Next is we should fill up the network range. Una, ilagay natin yung subnet 0 natin, which is this IP address. 172.18.0.0 Since this is network range, kailangan natin i-identify kung hanggang saan yung sakop ng subnet 0 natin or ng network natin na 172.18.0.0 Mas madali natin madedetermine ang network range kung kuunin muna natin yung next network natin. Our next network is 172.18.32.0 Now, para makuha mo kung hanggang saan yung range ng 172.18.0.0 is magma-minus 1 ka lang sa susunod na network mo. So, 172.18.32.0 minus 1 is 172.18.31.255. Ang network range ng subnet 0 natin ay 172.18.0.0 hanggang 172.18.31.255. Next is 172.18.32.0. Our next network is 172.18.64.0 So para makuha natin yung network range nito, kukunin lang natin yung 172.18.64.0 minus 1 is 172.18.63.255 Next is 172.18.96.0 minus 1 172.18.95.255 Next is 172.18.128.0 Minus 1 172.18.127.255 Next is 172.18.160.0 Minus 1 is 172.18.159.255 Next is 172.18.192.0 Minus 1 172.18.191.255 Next is 172.18.224.0 Minus 1 is 172.18.224.0 that 223, that 255. Next is 172.19.0.0. Minus 1 is 172.18.255.255. Since 172.19 na tayo, check muna natin baka hindi na siya sakop ng network natin. Since tayo ay nagnakaw or nang hiram ng 3 bits sa host natin, tayo ay nakagawa ng 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7 tayo ay nakagawa ng 7 sub-networks. So, dapat, ito ay 7 sub-networks lamang. Since this is our subnet 0, 
So we should start here. So this is our first subnet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So hanggang dito lang yung network natin. So this 172.19.0.0 ay hindi na natin sakop. Sa ating subnet 0 which is 172.18.0.0. So this is our network address. So our first usable address is plus 1 lang sa network address natin. So 172.18.0.1 is our first usable address. And 172.18.31.255 is our broadcast address. Now we haven't yet done how to identify ilang host ang kasya sa isang network natin. Eh di bilangin natin isa-isa. 172.18.0.0 172.18.0.1 172.18.0.2 Hanggang umabot tayo sa 172.18.31.255 Pero teka, pag binilang mo yun, ang dami nun at ang tagal nun. But the good thing is, we have much better way how to calculate how many hosts ang kasya sa isang network natin. And the formula is 2 raised to the number of host bits available minus 2. Itry natin dito sa subnet 0 natin kung ilang host ba ang kasya dito. Itong subnet natin na ito ay gumagamit ng subnet mask na 255.255.224.0 because we still 3 bits sa original na subnet mask niya na 255.255.0.0. Yung original na subnet mask niya, Meron tayong 16 bits para sa network at 16 bits naman para sa host. Ngayon, nagnakaw nga tayo or nanghiram tayo ng 3 bits sa host natin. Kaya nabawasan yung 16 ng 3. 16 minus 3 is 13. Bale, meron na lang tayong 13 bits na natitira para sa host. Now, the formula to calculate is 2 raised to the number of bits available in the host portion minus 2. So, 2 raised to 13 is 8,192. Bali, meron tayong 8,192 available IP address sa network range natin na ito. Now, bakit may minus 2? Kasi ang kinukuha natin ay yung usable IP address. Let me remind you na hindi natin pwedeng gamitin sa host natin yung network address natin at yung broadcast address natin. So, dalawa yun. Sa kaya kailangan mong mag minus 2. So, yung 8,192 minus 2 is 8,190. So, using that formula, nalaman natin na ang subnet 0 natin ay merong usable host na 8,190. Ibig sabihin, kaya niya mag-cater ng 8,190 devices. And since our whole network will use the subnet mask of 255.255.224.0, ibig sabihin, lahat ng network natin or subnetwork natin has 8,190 usable IP address. Now, let's have another example. Let's say we have an IP address of 195.100.100.0. And a subnet mask of 255.255.255.248. If we will convert our subnet mask into binary, ito yung kalalabasan niya. At para malaman natin kung ilang host ang kasya sa network na to, we need to use our formula to raise to the number of host bits available minus 2. So 2 raised to 3 available host bits minus 2. So 2 raised to 3 is 8. So, meron tayong 8 na available na IP address minus 2 kasi ima-minus natin yung network address at yung broadcast address and it will make it 6. So, meron lamang tayong 6 na available para sa host IP address natin sa network natin na ito. Now, another example is 201.150.100.0 and a subnet mask of 255.255.255.192. Now, I want you to pause this video and try to answer. Thank you for pausing the video and trying to answer. 
Now, subukan natin sagutan kung ilang usable host address ang meron tayo dito. Our formula is 2 raised to number of host bits available minus 2. So, 2 raised to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 2 raised to 6 minus 2. 2 raised to 6 is equals to 64. Minus 2 is equals to 62. Bali, meron tayong 62 usable IP address sa network natin na ito. I hope that this has been educative for you and I'd like to thank you for watching. And if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe and bell button. So paano? Hanggang dito na lang tayo. Kita-kita na lang tayo sa mga susunod pa nating mga video.